Hello there. Um, uh, 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 how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, you know, I may have said a few episodes ago that we needed to go ahead and uh, make a fission reactor, and uh, I totally, totally haven't forgotten. Uh, so, uh, yeah, guys, today we're going to be uh, making the fission reactor. Now, a lot of you said we need to make the fusion reactor first, but if we go ahead and look here at the fusion reactor frame, we need these polyum pellets. And the only way that I have found to get these is from the nuclear waste that we get from the fission reactors. And then you look at, and then if you look at the the, the fission reactor casing and be like, oh yes, clearly we're supposed to make this first. So we're gonna go ahead and make that today. So I was reading up online, and we're gonna need quite a few of these. Okay, so we definitely need those guys. So let's go ahead here. We're gonna go and we're gonna do things like the enrichment chamber, which is up top here, perfect. And guys, check it out. So I went ahead and kind of finished up the room over here uh, that we made last episode. I just did some changes here. Uh, we got uh, quite a few more of these guys. I wanted to go ahead and leave the crafters out in the open. Uh, these all get put into a diamond chest that gets put into our system. But if we look here, um, yeah, these are all elite. I actually think I'm gonna leave them blue. Uh, because I think it looks a little bit better and goes kind of with the whole blue theme going on in this room. The purple doesn't really stand on all that much. So each one of these is set up. Our glass is being manufactured here. We also went ahead and just set up our smelting factories over here. So this is all working pretty cool. But uh, but back over here to our, our enriching our enrichment chamber. Come over here. We're going to input these in here. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and grab some of those red boys. All right. Now this is done smelting. Or not really smelting. But it's done getting processed over here. So let's go ahead and we will click those bad boys in. So let's go ahead and make some of this. Oh, wait. What have I done? Yeah, we're over here. We're over here. Oh, man. We made 53 of those. I don't know if we needed that many. But uh, we got them. We're gonna make a total of nine of these just in case. I don't think we'll need that many, uh, but then we need to go ahead and make quite a few of these. We have plenty of osmium and redstone to go ahead and do this, so that's okay. Uh, so now if we do this. Ah, we need to make one more of these guys. There's no way we can end with 31. We have to have half a stack, perfect. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and make some fission ports. So we're gonna need some re reactor casings. Oh wow, look at that, we had a lot there, perfect. So let's go ahead here, we're gonna make a total of four of these just in case, and then some reactor glass. Enriched iron, ooh, okay, we need to make some of this as well. All right, the coal here, we can go ahead and process up. We're gonna have it so that doesn't export anymore. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Okay, so we got plenty of enriched iron now. Let's go ahead here and we will do one of those. Get some glass. Oh, we need to auto craft some glass. Well, if you guys remember last episode, we went ahead and set up a whole process for this. So let's get this far departed, and I'll show you guys the cool system we got going on. All right, check it out, it's over here. Yep, they're just being thrown over there. As you can see, gravel goes in there, then the gravel goes in here, gets processed into sand, gets over there, very neat, and then it gets processed over here. And these don't have any speed upgrades yet, and they're not even set to the sorting option. So that'll help a lot, and as you can see, that, boom. Boom, shoom. Dope. So we're getting all the glass we could ever want there. All right, now with the glass being processed, we can go ahead. I want to make a stack of this stuff if we can. Yes, perfect. Okay, and then so the next thing is just the, the casing. How much of that do we got left? We got a lot of that left, actually. Get some more glass processed up. 
All right, so we got two stacks of these guys. Now let's go ahead and get the area cleared out that we want to go ahead and put this in. So I figured we'll just actually put this down at the very end over here. I want the window to be like a three by five. So it means we're gonna have to clear this out like so. All right, so the casing go like this. We're gonna need to go up one more block. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like from here. Okay, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in with the casing on the outside over there. And as you can see, we are fully backed up with brine, which is awesome. This is still, or lithium, this is still filled up, which is cool. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out and we'll be right back. Okay, so we went ahead and fixed this whole thing up and I'm noticing that with the rain and all of the windmills we have going up on top there, we are getting some FPS issues. <laughs> I'm um, getting less than 60 here, but then if we look over here where we're not loading them, we're all the way back up. So the fans up top are definitely causing an issue, but we'll worry about that some other time. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and work on these fission fuel assemblies. I do believe we need to go up like this, and we need to be careful not to place these too close together. Now I'm going to try to do this method here, uh, and we'll see how good that is. So these need to be on top. Okay, and then the glass needs to be up front, and I don't know if this is just going to snap together. It did. Okay. Um, fuel tank. Coolant tank. Oh, shoot. What do we use for coolant? All right, guys. So we need a thing called fissile fuel where actually we can use a um, water as a coolant source for this guy. So we're going to go ahead do that. I forgot to put this port in. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, so we put a port here. Yep, that did work. wonder if we can change that at all. Okay, so we don't want this one. We want this one. Boom. Okay, so if we click on this guy. Okay, maybe if we just put the sink here. This guy like this, okay. And we set this to extract. Okay, so that is definitely working for coolant. Okay, so we can just use that because this is going to be a very basic setup. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that's how it filled it up with coolant. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need fuel in here. And this is the fissile fuel that we're going to be making today. Uh, but to do that, we need to go ahead and make some yellow cake uranium first. That's going to be our first process now. It's not technically first, but we're going to treat it as first. So let's go ahead, get some uranium here. And we're gonna throw, we're gonna throw these in the enrichment chamber. All right, so we got just a little bit of yellow cake uranium. We just got 764 of these guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this in there for now because let's see here. Um, Sulfur, huh? Okay, so we need to make this uranium oxide, right? Yes, that is for our uranium hexafluid, which gets into our fissile fuel. Perfect. So we need to put this in a chemical oxidizer now. Oh, be gaby. That there. This there. Shebang. Okay. Okay, so chemical oxidizer, boom, here we go. Okay, and the yellow cake uranium goes in here, and then we get our uranium oxide. Perfect. Yep, got our uranium oxide, all right. And we combine this with, an, with using a chemical infuser, which we will go ahead and craft now. All right, so the chemical infuser will go here like a so. And I believe this is a, no, not a gas. Let's just make sure here. Uranium oxide, yep, this definitely goes here. Fluids, doesn't connect to either. So it definitely is a gas. So we 
just need to configure it properly. Output maybe. Aha. There we go. Oh, yep, that's over here. Check it out. We already got our uranium oxide over here. Beautiful. So we're halfway to our uranium hexafluid. Okay. So now we're going to work on this guy over here. So we can get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay. So this is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid and fluorite. Okay. In a chemical dissolution chamber. <sighs> Straight up sulfur. Gunpowder. Okay, I don't know if that's a good idea. Making our own sulfur, though, is probably a very good idea. Do we have any extra... Ooh! We do have some extra oxygen left over from that guy. So we can come here like this. We can go ahead and tell this part here to not connect. And then if we go like this for gases... Output two, which is the cyan, yes. That's power. Oxygen. Perfect, okay. So that's what we need for this, correct? Oh man, that is expensive. Okay, so all we need is oxygen and water in one of these. Let me make this up. Don't worry guys, it's a very ugly system now, but eventually we'll, we will make it much, much easier on the eyes, trust me. We are out of steel, oof. Should have some that's in here, but hasn't been taken out, perfect. Let's go ahead and just get this smelted up. Why isn't it going? In? Oh, energy, fluids, gases. That is why. Yep, look at that. We got oxygen there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get our sink. Our Cinco de mayonnaise. <laughs> and then we can put a... Are you fluid? Yes, you are. Okay, so pressurized reaction chamber is good to go. Uh, we should probably make another one of those. Okay, so we got an ultimate chemical tank here that we're going to go ahead and swap this guy out for so we can go ahead and start producing more, but we're not going to waste any of this guy. So this will start to fill up again. Perfect. And then all we need to do is just chuck coal into here. Yay. Okay, so all we need to do is run power to this guy now. And we are good. Yep, this is working. Check it out. Sulfur production. All right. Now, the next thing we need is literally is just converting this over. Um, all right, so let's have a, a look here. Uh, it says the purification chamber can actually do something with this. Uh, if we look at the uses here, I'm still rather confused by this, honestly. Um, so we have that normally. And then it says item to gas. And it's got these. It's even got sulfuric acid. So I don't know if we need a gas upgrade, uh, which isn't a lot, but uh, it just seems really confusing about how so many different items can use that. Unless I'm just like blind. Let's go ahead and make this gas upgrade real quick. Okay, maybe we put this in. Okay, so maybe we are a little bit closer than I originally thought. Um, so if we use... Chemical oxidizer. Here we can make this sulfur dioxide and the uses for here, if we combine it with oxygen, give us the sulfur trioxide, which we can use to combine with water vapor. Okay, so there's, there's a few more steps here. Let me get these set up. Okay, so this is our system here to get our sulfuric acid. Instead of just converting it over, we go from the, the sulfuric 
that thing, and then we go into this thing here, and then it combines here. It does technically work. Then it comes down here, and we get the sulfuric acid from the, the sulfur trioxide that comes here. And then we make the water vapor here from this guy. We can all speed these up as soon as I can get more of these going. Or not really more of these going, but as soon as I take time to just put the speed upgrades in here and design how we want that to look. But now is the next step toward getting our way uh, to the fission fuel. So we need to go ahead and craft this guy. How much we got? We got the middle. Okay, refined obsidian. Ah! Okay, so that means obsidian dust. I got one obsidian. Does that count? What can we do with crying obsidian? We can't do anything. Okay, looks like I'm going down to bedrock. Yay, give me a bucket. Okay, so now we got the obsidian people there. Oh, and we just need two of these. Perfect. All right, boom. Chemical dissolution chamber. The whole reason we set up that other thing. So now we have we have 28,000 of this fluoride, so we don't really need to worry about it. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, we do need to go ahead and get some more coal in here uh, so that we can go ahead and get this machine processing back up. The limit here is this guy, unfortunately. We can go ahead and upgrade him later. Uh, but this sulfuric acid is what we needed. We need to combine that with the... This guy here, um, where's the fission fuel? Fissile fuel, here it is. All right, uranium hexafluoride. So look at this, hexafluoric. Uh, look, we're already, we're freaking, we're freaking there, dudes. We're freaking there, dudes. All right, so we are going to be, this has got power. Okay, so we're gonna be outputting, yep, output, output is the front, perfect. So let's grab this here. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> guys, look. Uranium. Wait a sec. Oh, I didn't realize we just completed the second half of this. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so we need to go ahead and break this guy real quick. I know, I know, I know, but we need to get this so this doesn't connect here. There we go. Okay, and then this will be here. And I don't want to ruin this because we have a bunch of that hooked up already. Oh, uranium hexafluorite. We have the final step. Now the last thing that we need to produce or make is this guy. Let's go make him. All right, I've never used this before, so we're gonna find out how this works. Um, so we're just gonna put this kind of in front. We're gonna run some power to the bottom of it, is what I would assume is where it goes. Okay, and then we are also going to limit this to not export out the front so that we can go like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no oh my gosh i can't believe that just happened um uh, um i think i think that's okay yeah that's okay uh my heart sank i'm not even gonna lie my heart sank after that one Yeah, this is going to be an issue um, unless go like this and we break this guy like so. And then we find one of these drums, not a drum, but a chemical tank. We just make another chemical tank. <sighs> okay, so this should clear it out. Yep, that cable is in fact empty. So now we can leave that there. Let's go ahead and put this here. We will set the export. Oh my gosh, does it really just need power? That is not what I thought that was. It's a little late, guys. I've been working on this for a while. 
Fissile Fuel. We've freaking done it, guys. We have freaking, freaking done it, guys. We made Fissile Fuel. Oh, my gosh. Holy heck, that took so much work, guys. I've been, I was like, we have all the materials to make everything, and that still took an hour to set up. Though I was involved, so that probably had a lot to do with it. We're not going to talk about it, okay? Um, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to put the this guy here because this will make that. And then we can also get this so it pumps the item over into there once it's done. Let's go ahead and set that up. Okay, we can set the blue items. Top is output. Auto eject needs to be on. So that will work now. And then items, there we go. Yep, so this works now. This is kind of automated. We just throw in some blocks of coal here and then this whole process all the way up to here, even to here is kind of up, up like kind of done. We will need to go ahead and put the floor right. We'll probably just connect up a, an exporter from our system here to start setting this up. But fissile fuel, holy heck, Batman. All right, so we got a lot of this stuff here. We're going to go ahead and do an energy upgrade so this thing takes even less energy to make, which is perfect. And after these eight energy upgrades in here are done, we will be adding in some sped upgrades. Look at that. Perfect. Let's check this out. Boom, look how fast that is now. That's only three upgrades, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. I'll go back through and we will be upgrading all of those to have max energy and max speed upgrades so we're not having to wait around. But I'm pretty sure we have everything that we need to get this fission reactor running. Guys, right, looks like this is the limit now. We have a whole bunch of hydrofluoric acid coming out of this guy. This is like full with a bunch of stuff. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, so this here we need to, actually, this guy is the heir because that he wasn't running for a bit. Oh, well, don't worry about it. But uh, let's go ahead and get another chemical, or heck, no, we're just going to run it right in. So we're on fast, good. So my port's on me, I sure do. Okay, yep, fuel, that's still in there, good to go. All right, so is this a gas, the fissile fuel? Yes. So let's just go ahead, come over here like a so. <laughs> oh. My goodness gracious, alive. Uh, let's actually go ahead and break this. Okay. We're going to run this under the floor. I don't want it to look too terrible. Okay, we're getting fissile fuel. Let's go ahead and activate this guy. Damage 0%, burn rate, status active. We are creating nuclear waste. This is what we need. Because we take this nuclear waste, take this nuclear waste here, we convert it over and with one another one of these guys into the polium. We combine this with water in a pressurized reaction chamber with fluorite dust, and we get our polium pellets. But guys, that is going to wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this is Super Turtle, and this is my crazy labyrinth of mechanism stuff behind me. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.